One more right, one that is very special to me, and that's the right to hijab. Okay? Hijab is a woman's right. And I don't like it when a person comes up to a Muslim woman and says, why do you wear hijab or why do you cover like that? And they say, because God commanded it. That is not enough of an answer. You need to let people know this is one of our rights. The Quran says to identify ourselves as being Muslim. What greater thing than to be identified as being a Muslim? When I am identified as being a Muslim, this means that I know my worth. I know my value. I will be treated with dignity. I will be treated with respect. I will be treated with that which Allah has granted me. My hijab tells the world that I know my value. My hijab also opens the door to da'wah. Identify yourself as being a Muslim. When I walk down the street, everyone knows I'm someone different, something different. And they may approach me in a variety of different ways. But we have a conversation starter right there. And then we can pick up and go further. Now one of the common ones occurs when I go into a store and somebody will say, what are you? You know, now we know. What they want to know is why are you dressed so weird? Okay, that's what they really want to know. But in studying the Sunnah, you see how the Prophet Muhammad wasalam, used humor in dealing with people. He used humor a great deal, so you go ahead and respond with humor. One 7-Eleven store where I was stopped and the woman said that to me, loud voice, my ears are covered, maybe I'm deaf, loud voice. And what are you? I'm a woman. You know, I mean, I know what she wants. I'm a woman. She says, but, no, what are you? I look down at myself and I, I I'm a woman. You know? And then I stand there and I'm like, oh, you mean the way I'm dressed? Oh, I'm a Muslim. And in this one instance, the lady looked at me and she says, but you're not black. I looked at myself and I said, oh my God, you're right. Okay, a little bit of humor. But I was identified as being at least something different. Now I identify myself as being Muslim. Now I have a chance to talk about Islam. And when I looked around that store, by the way, I was the only white person there. I was the only white person there. And everybody in the store is laughing. I mean, everybody was laughing. And all these people came up to the front and we got involved in a conversation that went on for another two and a half hours. After which I gave them my cards and the numbers of friends that I had in that particular area because I was just a passerby. I didn't live there, I was a passerby. I didn't even live in that state. I was just driving through. I met that woman a few years later, and she's a Muslim. That clerk became a Muslim, okay? What was really fun was she told me, she describes this one guy who had been buying milk that was in the store that day. They're getting married. He's a Muslim too. And all from being identified as a Muslim woman. I feel sorry for the brothers on two counts. Who's to know what they are? 
I mean, you look at most of them and they could pass for, they could be Italian, they could be Spanish, they could be anything. Who's to know? Because most of them aren't identifiable. I feel sorry because they don't get an opportunity to demonstrate the courage that a Muslim woman has. Because it takes profound courage to walk out in hijab when you're living in an environment where women in hijab are persecuted. That takes true courage. And the woman is the weaker. I'd like to see my dear brothers go to work in a thope. Or the Ogala and Gutra. I'd like to see that. How many of them would be working if they had to wear that? Not too many, I think. But women have more courage than they give us credit for. We go to the store, we go to the hospital, we go to the schools. Everything we do in our hijab, inshallah, proudly. Inshallah. I want the world to know that I am a Muslim woman. I want the world to know that I am a Muslim woman. I had a feminist ask me a few weeks ago if I was a different woman if I took my hijab off. I told her no. I'm not different. It doesn't change me. She says, why do you have to wear it then? Only one reason. I want to be identified by everyone I meet as a Muslim woman. I want there to be no confusion, no doubt in anyone's mind. That's a Muslim woman. This is my right. And I will fight for this right. And I will maintain this right. Allah gave it to me and no one is taking it away from me.